Hello, Sag couple. So this is going to be your reading for uh, January 17th through the 31st, okay? So, um, you guys, as I shuffled the cards, wow, what a beautiful end of the month. I really, really feel this such beautiful energy coming from you guys. Um, I really feel that your relationship has been taken to a whole nother level. I feel a lot of you guys are enjoying um, some time out in nature. I see a lot of you guys hiking. I see some of you guys like actually traveling somewhere and hiking together. Um, I see a lot of building. I see that a lot of you guys are building together, establishing something solid, something for the future. And I also feel that a lot of you guys are, um, you're happy. Like, I feel that you're so happy with your relationship right now. Um, I see so many blessings around you guys. Like, it was beautiful because I haven't felt this energy for Sag in a while. I see a lot of, like, beautiful, beautiful doves flying around, you know, your your relationship. There are definitely a lot of blessings in your relationship. And I see a lot of cosmic protection, universal protection for your relationship. Um... I see that a lot of you guys, although you're enjoying each other's like time and you're enjoying each other in general, I see that some of you guys are going to have to come into a place where you're going to have to discuss your finances because I feel sad you're in a relationship where for some reason I feel like there's like this imbalance of give and take, but you want a balanced relationship, which is, you know, it's funny because when I intuitively felt that this uh, six of pentacles popped out. Okay. So this is ab about balance. Like you guys want, you guys want that give and take in your relationship, but I feel like money is a constant issue. So one of you guys is either you're taking too much and you're not giving enough, or you feel that you, you crave this balance, especially financially, or maybe your partner is not working right now and you want them to work, but you have to kind of carry the weight for now or maybe you're not working and your partner has to carry you financially but there there's a need on either your part or their part for this balance I feel that there's a sense of wanting things to be on the same page if that makes sense okay so really be aware of the way you guys are handling your your finances because I could see resentments and I feel it if you guys don't come to a place where you're seeing eye to eye. Um, but overall, the energy at the end of the month, you guys, I really see you guys traveling together. I see you guys even taking small trips together. I see, you know, pregnancies, or if you're already pregnant, congratulations. I really see that there's a lot of building here. There's a possibility of building. I do see pregnancies, you guys. So if you're not trying to get pregnant, be careful. Um, or I see, you know, for my Sag men, I see you guys, you know, um, dealing with someone who is pregnant or possibly getting pregnant. Um, there's a lot of love. I feel a lot of love in your relationship right now. Okay. Um, I also feel a lot of possibility for growth. Um, Don't be afraid for my Sag males. I feel this for Sag men right now. Um, don't be afraid of going to the next level. Don't be afraid of growing with your partner because this person, I feel, is someone who will benefit you in the long run. They teach you a lot about yourself. They're very patient with you. So don't be afraid of that for my Sag men. Don't be afraid to open up your heart. This person has your best interests. Um, for my Sag couples, I feel some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. Some of you guys are dealing with a, um, a Cancer. Others, you guys are dealing with a Virgo, okay? So these energies, I feel at the end of the month, I really feel like you're, you're having, you're going to have a different perspective on how you want to kind of deal with them. And it's a positive light. Like, I see you wanting to build with them. I see you wanting to grow with them. I see you wanting, you know you guys wanting to establish something of value, okay? Just make sure that they're on the same page with you. Sorry, you guys. This lighting is bothering me. Anyway, um, 
So with the Knight of Crystals, okay, again, it's about building, right? So this is about establishing a foundation with your partner. Like I see you guys wanting to put in the work. I see you guys have been putting in the work. And I do see this kind of relationship going to the next level. So if you have been casually seeing this person, this is an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But if you have been seeing this person casually, you will want to take it to the next level or they're going to ask to take, you know, to take things to the next level. Okay. So I feel that this is all great energy, but money is what I'm hearing is going to be the biggest issue between you guys. So the outcome card for the end of the month for your relationship is the transformation card, right? And then the page of pentacles. Okay. So, um, you guys are not letting something go. You're not letting something die. Okay, so I feel that something, you have to let something go in order for something new to grow, if that makes sense, right? So this energy is about, the death card is about you holding on in reverse. So what is it in your life that you are holding on to? Old patterns, old beliefs. What is it that you're bringing to your relationship that you're not allowing the relationship to evolve and grow? Okay, those are questions you might have to ask yourself towards the end of the month. And then also money, right? Money. I just keep seeing these pentacles and I really feel this is money. Um, you're not letting go of a possible earth sign, right? That maybe in the past meant a lot to you. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is not in the present. I feel this is more the past. You, you're holding on to this ideal of someone in the past who did you wrong. And even though you're in a relationship, I still feel that their energy lingers, if that makes sense, okay? That's for some, not all. Some of you, at the end of the month, you guys are just holding on to your beliefs with money within your relationship. So you find it really problematic that either you are carrying all the weight or your partner is finding it problematic that they're carrying your weight financially, okay? So I see, I overall, I see a beautiful energy, but... I see a lot of issues when it comes to money, and I think you guys will have to discuss that, okay? Thank you, Sag.